So there's this argument that mining is inefficient because it uses up a lot of electricity. But part of the reason this argument persists is because of two basic misunderstandings. The first is that uh, mining scales independently of the use of the currency. We do not need more mining the more the currency is used. In fact, if mining becomes inefficient in terms of the cost of electricity, it is a self-regulating market that will adjust dynamically to discourage mining by making it unprofitable. Uh, mining is already good enough to secure the network. In fact, it doesn't really need to scale unless it is profitable. It is profitable only if it is efficient as a means of securing the network and delivering the value of the transactions. The second misunderstanding is that mining is about creating the currency. It is not about creating the currency. Mining is about securing the network. Creating the currency is a side effect of mining. It is the reward and incentive system that makes mining viable as a security mechanism. But what mining does is it doesn't just replace the central bank and the Federal Reserve. It also replaces the guards, the guns, the trucks, the vaults, the buried treasures, the safe deposit boxes, the security systems, the alarm systems, the credit checking systems, the identity and fraud protection systems, vast, enormous data centers that do number crunching and algorithms in order to figure out if there is fraud happening, massive losses in the order of 5 to 10 percent of the entire payments network incurred every single year in terms of fraud that are considered part of doing business today. If you look at the big picture, mining for the value it delivers in terms of securing the transaction of this novel payment system, if you look at it just as a payment system, mining is probably creating the most efficient secure mechanism on a per transaction basis than any of the payment networks that have existed ever before. So mining may be creating one of the greenest payments networks we've ever had because we can take the existing amount of mining and scale the payment system to encompass the entire economic activity without increasing the mining. And that will make it the greenest currency ever. And that's only with the existing form of mining. There are already half a dozen other mining algorithms that are more efficient uh, and that uh, allow you to distribute the mining from ASICs all the way down to CPUs in various forms of difficulty. We're still seeing tremendous innovation in this space. So I think it's uh, very premature to both judge Bitcoin based on its current state and to misunderstand the function of mining and to assume it's just about currency issuance.